What's going on everyone? We are here at the Aerocool Suite and I teased it, definitely clickbaited it a bit, I'll admit, but I think you're gonna be really impressed with what they booked for Computex 2018. So we're about to walk into the presidential suite here at the W Hotel in Taipei, Taiwan. It's two stories, got a beautiful balcony wrapped around the entire, I don't even think calling it a room does it justice. Let's just walk in. All right, so where to begin? Aerocool manufactures furniture. Yeah, I said it, furniture. You got chairs, beanbags, we'll show you guys in a second. They have a few uh, new cases that you probably haven't seen yet that will hit the markets in the US in particular very soon. They've got basically a full-on LAN party going on to my left. In there, uh, there's a, another room that you can't see yet. We'll go in there as well. There's so much to see in this place. Uh, and they have their new gaming desks you might be interested in. And then uh, we'll hop up top and we'll check out the dedicated streaming booths. So uh, yeah, this is the first floor. It's, it's pretty wide open. Lisa's up top filming from the balcony. The view behind her, by the way, is priceless. We'll end the video showing you guys what that looks like. So let's start first with the furniture. Now, when I was a kid, I was into bean bags. This one admittedly is a lot more comfortable than the one that I had when I was like six or seven, but it brings back the good old days. I remember jamming to PlayStation, the original PS1, uh, in a bean bag that was much cheaper again than this one. Cheaper in quality, but not necessarily cheaper in price. This actually only sells for about 55 bucks. It doesn't come with filling because that's a shipping concern. There are some environmental concerns with what you fill the bean bag with. In certain countries, it's a mess. So what you can do is buy the bean bag shell, which is what I'm sitting on. Uh, for 55 USD and then on Amazon you could buy uh, what a couple hundred liters or so worth of beanbag filling for like 17 bucks a piece and there you go full-on beanbag and it's shipped in a very small package because again it's not filled when you buy it so things can get as beefy as the p7ch2 let me tell you I've been contemplating replacing my couches in our living room with these things what do you think babe I think these would fit I did a lot of space here hey room for two Oh, and by the way, if you're into uh, self-raising desk, dual motors in these here from Aerocool. You also get these included pads that are actually fitted perfectly to the self-raising desk. So, you got your controls over on the right here. And if you want to go back down, no problem. These motors can handle it up to 50 or so kilos. Yeah, I'm pretty light, don't judge me. Now, these are all of the Aerocool air coolers. I'm sure you've seen quite a number of them on sites like Amazon. They're starting to work their way into Newegg as well. And we're gonna go through every single one of them, kind of like a flash showcase here. So this is the Averico 5. You got five heat pipes, TDP of 150, the Verico 2 Slim. Check out how tiny and thin this thing is. This is ridiculously thin. I wonder how effective it is. 105 watt TDP, pretty good for its size there. Verico 1 3P, more of a stand-up small cooler. Verico 4 Dark with those nice dark uh, aluminum fins there and blacked out heat pipes. And then we have the Verico Plus, a top-down cooler. This reminds me of, uh, I've seen other coolers like this one, but I like what they've done here with the blue fan on top. And it's just nice, it's, it's a good combo. Verco 4, this one is, uh, I like the Verco 4 Dark, but it's just a little more uh, shiny, not as matte. The Verco A, same thing as the Verco Plus, just a little smaller form factor, TDP 100. You have the Verco 4 Light, another stand-up cooler here, smaller in form factor, but still 125 watt TDP. Verco, uh, what is this, A-3P, Basically the same thing as this one, but what we're talking about here is socket support uh, and uh, just a few minor changes with the uh, actual cooler itself. And then we have the Verico i. I'm assuming that's an i. Intel compatible, so these are good for LGA 1150 and the works. So again, LGA and then AM4, AM3 plus the works there. We have the, I'm gonna call this the Bass Aug, the B-A-S-A-U-G. It's kind of like a bowl-shaped air cooler, but I bet you it's pretty effective at funneling air down to the CPU and the socket itself. The Verico 2 Dual, 120 watt TDP, more of a stand-up cooler with two fans, one on each side. The BAS UPWM, of course, self-explanatory name there, four pin feed item controller, and that bowl-shaped funnel design. 
have the BAS U3P. Again, keep in mind, we have universal compatibility with these, 110 watt TDP, just minor revisions. And then the original BAS, 100 watt TDP. This is good for Intel CPUs. Down below, our last ones, the Verico 2, 110 watt TDP, nine centimeter PWM fan. Looking pretty snazzy for the size. And then the Verico 2 Plus, just a slightly bigger fan tacked onto a slightly wider heat sink. And there you go, folks. We just reviewed, uh, well, not reviewed, but we showcased about 20 or so CPU coolers. Now, this is the workstation assembly slash LAN party zone, where originally I assumed the dining room would be. Aerocool has decided to turn it into a pretty sweet gaming PC lounge. We have six PCs here. I'm not gonna bother going through all the specs. We'll review the cases themselves uh, and talk about some of the features in a separate part of this video. But I really like what they've done here. They've given this more personal gaming feel, right? For anybody who comes in here expecting to be uh, treated like royalty, maybe gaming royalty instead. By the way, all these chairs, Thunder X3 chairs here, really comfortable, not gonna lie, sinking into this one feels really nice. Now, if you remember our 2017 Computex coverage, we had a, a, a booth kind of integrated with Aerocool's thing they had set up at Nangang Exhibition Hall. Uh, we actually had our own little editing studio there at the booth, and it was really nice. They really hooked us up, uh, and we greatly appreciated it. In the long run, it was nice to have a full-on desktop with which to edit. Uh, this is kind of like that vision seen in the real world, right, if you had, uh, everything basically arrow cooled out. So if you had an arrow cool gaming mouse, gaming keyboard, uh, you had the you know extra arrow cool Thunder X3 peripherals, you had the Quartz Pro from arrow cool, you have all the different, you know, you have the AIOs in here, the fans in here, the power supplies in here. Arrow cool makes a ton of products and admittedly they haven't like, you know, penetrated much of the American market yet. And that's what they are trying to do. They're working on getting these products to the masses in the States because I think there's a lot of potential there. Uh, so what I want to do at this point is kind of just show you these two cases here in particular. This is a Quartz Pro. This is a uh, dual tempered glass case. So here you see it's a, actually a tempered glass door that swings open. For uh, fans of five and a quarter inch drive bays, if you got like a CD optical drive of sorts, you can put it right here so you're not missing out. Uh, this actually supports fans up front, up to three of those, 120s I believe. And then we can also put 120s against the right side panel next to the motherboard. We have adequate ventilation here on the right side panel for that intake or exhaust. And then also a 120 or a 140 mil fan at the back. And it's a full tower, so you get eight PCIe slots, vertical graphics card support, a full on basement with sort of modularity there if you wanna build a custom loop inside a case like this perfect for it. So I was going to end by showing you guys some of their new fans. I really like the borderless design here. So it's very cohesive, clear. You don't see any of the LEDs kind of sticking out. So the diffuser is working very well with these. Uh, but then I got distracted, admittedly not by something tech related, but I want to show you guys the bathroom. This is the presidential suite after all. Not too many people get to spend time in these. So for some reason, you've got a fireplace that's just chilling next to a huge bathtub and it's weird, there's like a hollow point here in between the actual ceramic of the bathtub and what's likely granite or marble, which is really expensive. We have his and her uh, sinks and a bunch of empty space because why not? Is this where you, oh uh, yeah, this is where you do your business. Dedicated glass door just for that. We're gonna pan over here to the shower which uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated by because I don't know what any of these buttons do. Oh no, it shows you. <gasps> it's got a little graphic, so if you want one, it'll, it'll only, I guess, drop water from the outsides if you're into that sort of thing. And then if you hit two, it'll only drop it from the very middle. And then you got one of these, you sing into these, right? It's like a microphone. And this work of art right here, for some reason, right across from the shower, which is completely see-through, that, that's fine, we have, I'm pretty sure, a carbon fiber bike. I'm pretty sure this is almost entirely carbon fiber. And if it's not carbon fiber, it's a great imitation. I've been around cars that have carbon fiber on it and this feels pretty dang good. And, uh, wow. I just, I just, I just, screw it. Let's just, let's just go. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I feel it. McLovin would love this. And after a long day of biking on a carbon fiber frame, you've got a sauna. And uh, that's gotta be the coolest thing in this presidential suite. Okay, I spoke too soon. Not the coolest thing, but almost the coolest thing. Panning around here. See, your bed is just basically in the same room as your bathroom. 
I guess that's what rich people are okay with. You have a streaming PC. Okay, this is all arrow cool, I'll admit, but it looks pretty dope where they've got it set up on this sort of improv stage, if you will. So you can be live streaming and looking out over Taipei City at the same time. And the last thing, the one I wanna end with is the view. So this is the balcony, otherwise wasted space, but absolutely not in this circumstance because the view is so good. This, ladies and gentlemen, is downtown Taipei from the 29th floor of the W Hotel. Have a look at Taipei 101. It was the tallest building in the world, by the way, until I believe 2010 or 11, when Burj Khalifa was built, which is admittedly much taller, but this thing was the record holder for about five or so years. So with that, we're gonna call this one quits. I will be back here again to review specifically the Quartz RGB case, which I think is going to be a heck of a value. Stay tuned for that. This is Science Studio. Thanks for traveling with us.